Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Wednesday, August 28th. You'll be interested to know, 61 years ago, today, in 1963, approximately 200,000 people marched on Washington, D.C., an event that became a high point of the civil rights movement, especially remembered for the famous I Have a Dream speech of Martin Luther King Jr. So now you know. And now, it's time for the surf report. Expect knee-high swell with occasional thigh-high sets throughout the week. On Wednesday and Friday mornings, conditions will be glassy with light offshore winds, becoming semi-choppy in the afternoons with stronger onshore winds. Thursday and Saturday mornings will be semi-glassy with variable winds, turning bumpy in the afternoons. Wednesday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking clean to fair in the morning until 11 at two to three feet. Then it gets a little choppy midday, but mighty's up for a fair sunset session. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m. with a two and a half foot incoming high tide when the northwest swell is one and a half feet at 10 seconds and the onshore wind is three mile per hour. The first low tide Wednesday will be zero foot at 12.45 a.m with a three and a half foot high tide at eight. This morning it's foggy and feels like 65 degrees with no wind. The sunset will take place at 717 and it will rise again tomorrow at 621. It looks like we're in for some patchy fog before 11 a.m. Then mostly sunny skies with temperatures reaching 77 and a light west breeze. Tonight, Expect patchy fog after 11 p.m. with mostly cloudy skies, a low of 64, and calm winds. Looking ahead in the weather. Expect patchy fog each morning through Sunday, gradually clearing by 11 a.m. Daytime highs will be in the mid-70s with light southwest winds. Nights will be cloudy to partly cloudy with lows in the mid-60s and fog returning late. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, 17,000 policyholders in California are losing fire insurance as Liberty Mutual's subsidiary pulls back. Liberty Mutual Fire Insurance Company is discontinuing its fire insurance line in California, citing the retirement of antiquated technology. The non-renewals, starting in September and lasting through November, affect approximately 17,000 dwelling fire policyholders. This move impacts policies in multiple states, not just California. Liberty Mutual, the seventh largest property and casualty insurer in California, still offers dwelling fire insurance through its Safeco brand, though affected policyholders were not immediately offered new policies. This situation highlights broader issues in California's home insurance market. Now on to sports. The National Football League is set to allow private equity firms to buy into teams, a significant shift for the world's most lucrative league. This change approved in a recent meeting now allows team owners to sell up to 10% of their teams to pre-approved firms. The initial list includes Arctos, Ayers Management, Sixth Street, and a consortium featuring Blackstone, Carlisle, CVC, and Dynasty Equity. Strict rules apply, including no governance rights and a minimum six-year holding period. 
This policy opens the door for billions of dollars to flow into the league, enhancing franchise valuations. In local sports, the Padres on the road beat the Cardinals 7-5. to And tonight, they're back at it for game three of the four-game series. In top news, the number of $1,000 per night hotel rooms has soared as wealthy travelers embrace eye-popping rates. Paying $1,000 may no longer secure a swank suite or premo view. At the Ritz-Carlton New York Nomad, a standard room costs $1,300 for the first weekend in October. The Four Seasons Miami Surfside charges $1,500 with an advanced discount. According to Costa Group, 80 U.S. hotels averaged $1,000 or more per night in the first half of the year, up from 22 in 2019. European hotels have tripled to 183. Hotels capitalize on affluent travelers, boosting rates as a psychological signal of their superiority. In business news, IKEA has launched a new secondhand marketplace for pre-owned furniture, aimed at helping the company compete with resale sites like eBay, Gumtree, and Finn. The pilot program, called IKEA Pre-Owned, will be tested in Madrid, Spain, and Oslo, Norway, through the end of the year. Customers in these cities can buy and sell pre-owned IKEA items, with listings featuring photos and prices set by sellers. According to IKEA's chief executive, Jesper Broden, this initiative reflects the company's confidence in evolving digitally. The marketplace may charge a symbolic fee in the future to enhance the experience for both sellers and buyers. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $59,200. Ethereum is just over $2,400. And Solana is $100. $47. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. Boeing's Starliner is set to return to Earth next week, but its crew will remain in space until next year. This situation raises significant questions for Boeing's space business. NASA announced that the crew will return on a SpaceX ship, prompting inquiries about Starliner's future. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson expressed full confidence in Boeing's future flights, but not everyone shares this optimism. The mission faced glitches, extending the crew's stay from eight days to eight months. Industry experts suggest Boeing might reconsider its focus on human spaceflight, given its recent struggles and financial losses. And in entertainment news, Francis Ford Coppola, renowned filmmaker, expressed to Rolling Stone that his aim with Megalopolis was to avoid it being branded as some woke Hollywood production. The film's cast features controversial figures like John Voight and Shia LaBeouf. Coppola emphasized the cast includes people who were canceled. He appreciated LaBeouf's intense approach, comparing him to Dennis Hopper. Megalopolis stars Adam Driver and includes a notable supporting cast. Despite controversy at Cannes, including allegations against Coppola, Lionsgate will release the film in theaters on September 27th, with a screening at the Toronto International Film Festival. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the American civil rights leader, 
Martin Luther King Jr. And he said, darkness cannot drag out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drag out hate. Only love can do that. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.